Hi, welcome to Game Creation. So today we are looking at moving away from ClickTeam's default movement and creating our own movement. The issue we had with the default movements was our player could go between tiles and just sit there. Um, they could go like uh, kind of diagonally. They couldn't like click diagonal, but they could go right a little bit and up a little bit, and then they would end up in being in four different tiles, which we don't want in our project at all. Um, so. We are not going to do this very, very eloquently. We're going to be focusing more on that next week. The minimum file product is that the player can move and they have to end up in tiles. So um, we've got to understand how movement is done. Movement isn't something that's programmed as movement. Movement is programmed as how much you want the pix or the um, sprite or the character to move per second. Okay, so it's it's drawn here then it's drawn here, then it's drawn here, and that's how movement operates. If you've ever used a flick book, you understand that the the person's not moving in the flick book. All that's happening is you're just seeing updated positions really quickly, and that's how all video works. Uh, and you have things like uh, frames per second. That's the amount of uh, pictures per second. So if you have 60 frames per second, every second 60 frames are drawn. Um, and it's and the higher the more smooth it is so 120 frames per second is like super smooth because your eyes just can't pick up the fact that they're different images if it's one frame per second it's very very obvious um, so we're going to look at how to do that and we're going to talk about the theory first so if we switch over to the sketch pad um, I've drawn a man here and the theory we have is we want that person to move like this and it's going to happen really, really quickly. And that person can move back, move left, move right. And the the speed at which that person moves, and um, the kind of uh, the the distance that person goes, the smoother the effect. Now, I'm not interested in the uh, kind of bit between the tiles uh, in this video because our our product this week does not require that. Our goal this week does not require that. So all I want is for the person to appear here and then appear here. And that's what we're going to do in today's video. Let's move to the screen. So in the last video, we talked about the default movement and the advantages and disadvantages of using that. And uh, in the next video, we also um, talked about the event editor and setting that up. And this video, we are going to be using the event editor. So I'm just going to double click on this to select the frame and go to event editor up here. So in the last video, we um, created the group player movement to keep our code nice and organized. And I call this code, technically it's not, it's a kind of visual representation of the code, but it is essentially code, it's just more visual. <laughs> so underneath here, um, I want to create a condition. So with movement, obvious condition to make is um, on the keyboard upon pressing a key, and I want to click on the right hand button. So I've just used the right hand cursor key. And what I want to do is move um, this active. Um, and the way of doing that is uh, find out what position it's in. Um, and I want to change that position. So I right click position, I want to set the X coordinate because right will move uh, the X coordinate, not the Y coordinate. So set X coordinate. And what I want to do is find out where the X coordinate is currently. So position X coordinate. And I want to add 64, so add a tile onto it. So I click OK. And let's run that and see what that looks like. Looks good. Um, you might notice that it jumps quite a lot. So if I just start it again, um, you might notice there's no kind of transition between the two. It's either there or it's there and suddenly there. And there are loads of games that actually that's exactly what you want. Um, you don't want there to be a sliding transition. Um, and this is kind of my minimum viable product at the moment. I don't necessarily uh, mind it just suddenly jumping. Um, for me, the smooth transition is uh, kind of in addition. Um, so I want to just keep it at that. That's fine. That's great. And I want to copy this down. In fact, I might as well just click here, Control and C, Control and V. I'm going to do it four times. So upon pressing the up arrow, oh, actually I might do right and then left and then up and then down. I think um, have a consistency in your mind about the order you do these. So when you're reviewing code, you kind of can quickly figure out um, what bits are where. 
Uh, so for left, I'm just going to edit that. Instead of adding 64 pixels, I'm just going to subtract them. And let's just test that works. So application, and I'll click left. That works nicely. Okay, and next I want to destroy that because that does actually isn't helpful because now I need to change the Y position. And this is going to be the uh, Y position. And now to move up, weirdly, we need to subtract 64. Remember what I said in a previous video that the top left is 0, 0, not the bottom left. So to go up, you're removing uh, the Y. So you're taking a value away from Y. So let's click OK. Run application. I'm going to click up and it goes up. So 0, 0 is up here. And Y goes bigger the more the further down you go. Okay, so just try and keep that in your head. X works as you you know have learned in maths. You know, it's zero here, and then it increases going across. But Y goes the other way around to what you might have thought. And just go drag that. And obviously, to move down, we're actually adding to the Y, like so. Let's have a look. Let's test it. There we go, I can move about, fantastic. Now for my minimum viable product, that's brilliant. That's that's done what I wanted. Um, it The player can't ever not be in a grid, which I've done. Um, and uh, the only thing missing is, well, the only thing missing, I haven't got any nice backgrounds, I haven't got the sliding transition, but that's for a different week, that's for a different goal. Um, I wanted the minimum possible thing that I could deliver and I could release this. It wouldn't be the fast, most fascinating game in the world. Um, but, you know, there's no objective. There's no danger. There's nothing that a game should have. Um, but it works. It works nicely. Now, the only thing I want to just test is at this stage of development. I uh, So if I run it again, if I hold down right, it doesn't do anything. And so what I might want to test to see is I might instead want to repeat while key is pressed and right hand one and I'll just go drag that into there and I could have clicked there and replace um, so let's see what that looks like so I'm going to click on it oh wow oh that's not very good is it so what it's doing is it's just every time I hold down the right hand thing it's shooting that um, that bit there which increases it by 64 but it does that like really, really quickly. And so you don't have to hold it down long for it to shoot off the screen. Um, so at this stage, and I'm just gonna press Control and Z and just remove that. At this stage, that's not necessary because for our next phase, we know that we're gonna be dealing with um, this a, a much different way, but it's useful to know that our limitation of this current iteration of our project is that it doesn't repeat it. And so we need something that that uh, incorporates that function that allows us to keep doing it when I hold down the button, but then limits it. But that's un outside the scope of this current goal. And so uh, I started this week by saying that I wanted to be able to move a player and I wanted them to be just in one grid at a time. Animations would be nice. Um, the actual player sprites would be nice. Blackground slides, sprites would be nice. But... I don't need those things for us to deliver what I set out to at the start of the week. Next week we'll be going uh, a lot further into this and I'll set the goal on Monday next week. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, please click like. Um, also, if you've got anything you want to add or any comment you want to make or future project proposals or you find that uh, different ways easier for you, please let us know down in the comments. I really want to have an opportunity to go through the comments in future videos. That would be really, really good. Um, if you like what you see uh, and you want to subscribe, please click the subscribe. There's something about a bell icon as well. Make sure you have the notifications. Um, also, we release videos on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday at 7 in the evening UK time. And you can, if you're in a different country, you can find out hopefully what that is in your local time. Um, and yeah, it has been really, really fun. And I hope you uh, join us for the journey. Thank you very much.